Today, we're exploring the incredible transformation of Varanasi, a city that holds immense cultural and spiritual significance, and how Prime Minister Narendra Modi has played a pivotal role in changing its landscape. Varanasi, one of the oldest cities in the world, has long been a symbol of spirituality and tradition. With its ancient ghats and temples along the Ganges, it holds a unique place in India's cultural tapestry. However, challenges like infrastructure issues, congestion and limited amenities needed addressing. Modi envisioned a comprehensive transformation for the city, preserving its cultural heritage while introducing modern development. Let's explore how his vision unfolded. Varanasi is set to have the first public transport ropeway in India, a proposed aerial cable car system that will connect Varanasi Cantonment Railway Station to Godolia Chauk, a busy crossing near the Ganga Ghats. It will be the first public transport ropeway of India and the third in the world, after La Paz in Bolivia and Mexico City in Mexico. The ropeway service will have five stations, each with a theme based on Varanasi's culture, art and religion. It will cover a distance of 3.75 kilometers in about 15 minutes, reducing the travel time and congestion on the roads. It will also provide a scenic view of the city and the river. The project is expected to be completed and operational by May 2025. The International Cricket Stadium Varanasi is an under-construction cricket stadium in the holy city of Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. It is expected to be completed by December 2025 and will have a seating capacity of 30,000, which can be extended up to 60,000 spectators. The stadium's design will draw inspiration from Lord Shiva, featuring elements like trident-shaped floodlights, crescent-shaped roof covers, gut steps like seating arrangements, and a media center shaped like a damaru. The stadium is a part of the Bharat Mala Pariyojana a flagship program of the Government of India for Infrastructure Development and Economic Growth. It will be the fourth international cricket stadium in Uttar Pradesh. After Green Park Stadium in Kanpur, Brasav B. Ekana Stadium in Lucknow and Saifai International Cricket Stadium in Etawa. Tent City Varanasi is a luxury tented resort located on the banks of the Ganga River opposite the guts of Varanasi. It offers panoramic views of the city's culture, heritage and spirituality. The resort has two types of accommodation, Ganga Darshan Villas and Kashi Suites. The villas have a private beach, a plunge pool, a living area and a king-size bed. The suites are spacious and luxurious tents with modern amenities and generous hospitality. The resort also provides various activities and experiences for the guests, such as yoga by the Ganga, art gallery and craft bazaar, Ganga Watchtower, Floating Kun for Ganga Snan, Conference Hall, Spa, Live Music and more. The resort is a part of the Bharat Mala Pariyojana, a flagship program of the Government of India for Infrastructure Development and Economic Growth. Swavd Mahamandir is the world's largest meditation center located in Varanasi, India. It is a seven-story structure that spans more than 300,000 square feet and can accommodate 20,000 meditation practitioners at a time. The Mahamandir is inspired by the Swavd, a spiritual scripture written by Sadguru Sadafal Deoji Maharaj, the founder of Vihangam Yoga. The Mahamandir is dedicated to the propagation of Brahm Vidya, a body of knowledge that enables the seekers of truth to attain the highest state of consciousness and bliss. The Mahamandir was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the 18th of December 2023 as a part of the 100th anniversary of the establishment of Vihangam Yoga Sansthan. The Mahamandir is also a center of research, education, culture and social service, aiming to uplift the humanity and create a peaceful and harmonious world. The Varanasi Kolkata Expressway is a proposed 610 km long, 6-lane Greenfield Access Controlled Expressway that will connect Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh with Kolkata in West Bengal through Ranchi in Jharkhand. It is a part of the Bharat Mala Pariyojana, a flagship program of the Government of India for infrastructure development and economic growth. The expressway is expected to be completed and opened in 2026 and will reduce the travel time and distance between Varanasi and Kolkata from 12 
14 hours and 690 kilometers to 6, 7 hours and 610 kilometers respectively. The expressway will pass through four states, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal. It will have five sections. Ganga Vilas is the world's longest motor vessel river cruise, flagged off by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The cruise covers 27 rivers and 3,200 kilometers across India and Bangladesh, visiting over 50 destinations. It is the first cruise ship made in India, featuring state-of-the-art facilities and cultural experiences on board. The cruise itinerary includes World Heritage Sites, National Parks and River Ghats to key cities such as Varanasi, Patna, Kolkata, Dhaka and Guwahati. Over 50 destinations will be visited during the 51-day journey. In conclusion, Varanasi stands as a testament to transformative leadership. Modi's vision has seamlessly blended tradition with modernity, creating a city that respects its past while embracing its future.